a Invitational. That's a mouthful powered by <laughs> Sivo. I'm Lee Fex. You may have seen me before, and you may have also seen my friend here, Mr. James Bot. I haven't seen you in a while. How you doing? I man? know. I am doing fantastic, Leaf, and it is a pleasure to be casting with you again. It seems like forever that we've been together. And uh, Cyber Power PC, Sivo, thank you guys for getting us back together. And this tournament is going to be pretty awesome. 5K, that is a lot of dough in the Rocket League community. So these mm -hmm. teams are definitely going to bring their best uh, over the course of this week to try to claim the lion's share of that prize pool. Yeah, no, you're, you're right. I mean, like, while we're on the prize pool, we may as well see if we have uh, a little fancy graphic we can show to the people. Uh, I, again, like, kind of last minute, we're throwing this on to the community, but I, I know a lot of people are excited to see this. We got good teams um, uh, coming into this. Uh, some, some bubble teams are really excited to see go up against, like, some of these top-tier teams. But for the prize pool, let's break it down here. As you said, 5K, not, not a small amount, nothing to laugh at, that's for sure. Third place in this tournament is going to be walking away with their team, 750 bucks. Second place, 1750 and then first place that grand total of twenty five hundred dollars. Again, maybe I need to I need to start playing. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I mean, hey, uh, Leaf, I've seen you play. I don't think you'd have much hope oh, no. at that number one spot. <laughs> I mean, this here. is this is a pretty stacked uh, stacked lineup. Like this is this is going to be tough to to finish in the top three. So uh, I mean, mm -hmm. we've got Cloud Nine previously, the Muffin Men, probably mm -hmm. the hottest team in North America right now. NRG, you can't count them out. Three-time defending North American champions, and then we also have Rogue. Uh, so mm -hmm. these, it's going to be tough. But then we also have some of these new teams uh, that I'm really excited to see. Teams that might be breaking into the top eight yeah. in NA, like Fibian, Myth, Hype, um, Hollywood Hammers. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out and this first round is going to be tough and i mean trying to predict it uh i think it's going to be pretty easy to predict this matchup hype versus <laughs> nrg uh, i'm gonna have to go with nrg on that one but i know people can actually get involved with uh predicting yeah, as well they can so if you actually go over to the website it's rl.cyberpowerpc.cvo.com there's actually predictions you sign in with cvo and you can predict there's actually uh, a good amount of prizes uh, coming out of this for third, second, and first. They're giving away uh, third place. Looks like they're grabbing a uh, Cyber Power PC jersey. Second place for predictions, Cyber Power PC Scorpion uh, K1 keyboard uh, and a jersey. And then first place is going to get all that plus a mouse pad thrown in there as well. That, those are, just for predicting, that's a, those are some pretty good prizes. So I'm, I'm pretty stoked about this. Um, once again, wish I could be predicting this too. So make sure you guys get to that link. Start your predictions. Predictions will actually close as soon, for that match as soon as that match starts. So for this one right here, the NRG match, get those predictions in now because as soon as it starts, you cannot uh, you cannot be uh, voting on that or predicting on those anymore. Um, and just so you know which ones to get your predictions in for, uh, I think we have a schedule as well uh, in the future. This is a four-day event. So we have four days that, uh, that we're going to be in this tournament. Uh, these teams are duking it out for that top prize pool. Um, so you do not want to miss it. Uh, starting at different times each day, again, the schedule is going to let you mm -hmm. see that um uh when we're starting uh today of course 8 30 and i think uh tomorrow uh we're going to be starting at seven o'clock eastern time uh thursday we have our 8 30 again and then uh friday uh we're going to have our 7 p.m start time uh again those will be our final so friday you do not want to miss yeah. that multiple days of rocket league action which is awesome and this tournament is a pretty big tournament and teams like cloud nine like uh, Cloud9 looking to retain their spot at the top. NRG, a poor performance at DreamHack recently. And before mm -hmm. that, an amazing performance at X Games. This is another opportunity for them to come into a big tournament and try to finish well. So I'm going to really watch how NRG performs in this first matchup, especially against a team like Hype, where everyone is expecting them to win. But Hype is a team that has stayed together and continued to play and drudge through that yep. bubble area. So I wouldn't be surprised to see them put up a fight However, it is going to be an uphill battle for them. Well, you're right. And, but this is what's really good about this tournament is we're, we're seeing that, that match between some of these top tier uh, organizations that we've seen at the top for so long and these bubble teams. And this is a little taste for coming up to the, the RLRS and the RLCS now that mm -hmm. we have a bit different coming to season four. These guys are getting a bit of a taste now of, of what it's like to play those guys and say, okay, do we, what do we need to work on? Are we almost there? Can we get that? And I, I love to see that we have a few of those. As you mentioned, Fibian, Enix, uh, Hype, and then Holly. I, I gotta just I'm so excited for the Hollywood Hammers match. I'm so excited <laughs> to see Dark Fire's return. Yeah, Dark Fire, he was at one time the leading scorer in the RLCS in the world. So he mm -hmm. has proven that he's got the ability, he's fallen off a little bit, but we're actually gonna hop in here into Heck game number yeah. one. Let's get it. Game number one. This is a best of five as we work through the bracket. 
So we set up first NRG Hype Gaming. Hope you guys got your predictions in as we get into game number one there. Closed off. Joe's your energy in the chat. Who do you think's gonna take this one off the kickoff? I should not pull a James bot. And just to note as well, Leaf, uh, we have Fireburner rocking the Octane. You know, he was so mm -hmm. well known for using that Batmobile, but he has busted out the Octane every now and then, and he might be an Octane main now. You think so? I mean, oftentimes I've seen him jump back to the Batmobile, though. It's, it's just something that you're, you're comfortable with. And it's like it's like seeing Cooks here without the Batmobile. You may try it, but I, I would have my money on him going back, but it would be interesting to see if he does stay on that. Um, and early on, though, you know, it, it's really good that, that we see Hype off the bat not allowing a quick early goal. That could be so demoralizing to allow a team like NRG to get that early start and to keep it at bay just in that first minute can really help with your momentum and your mentality going off in the rest of the series. And we'll see if they can keep that going. As they do end on their own end, this may be the start of an attack from NRG if they can keep the pressure on. And I'm going to be watching Garrett G. Garrett, when he is going off on the offensive side of the ball, I really feel like they're gelling well. But he, you know, he or Jacob tend to take that defensive role. When Jacob slides into the back like that, I think NRG struggles. So we'll see what happens. There's another attack coming up from Hype, though. They might be able to get the first goal. Just off the cross, oh, oh, the oh. to hit clip. That is going to finally sink as they find a tiny toll in the NRG defense. So Bork got that pass out. Heathcliff, I thought he had that there. Yeah. It looked like Garrett was not expecting it. And then Bork, he, he just launched it over. And Heathcliff, <laughs> fortunately for Hype, was still in the area and was able to just backflip that one in. So oh Hype, they're getting a good start. Launches the, the best word there. He just kind of threw that to his teammate. And thankfully, Heathcliff was there to sink one in. He'll grab the first goal for his team against NRG. They grabbed the lead in the first minute and a half. Not a bad start against a, a team with a prestige like NRG. They might be trying to turn it around. What a touch from Garrett to Jacob. A passing play of their own. Got to give credit for just knowing that Jacob's there to receive that. Yeah, Jacob right over to Garrett G. And Garrett G put that wonderfully. <laughs> the Jacob, you see him air rolling just to try to get the maximum power on that shot. So an immediate response from NRG. Mm -hmm. They're... Uh, they're, that's that's what I wanted to see for them. Even though they conceded that first goal, they got right back in it. But, oh, oh, that was almost a mistake. That was super close. Fireburner did get back in time, but you got to be careful off the kickoffs. That momentum can change very drastically. Team pinch from Heathcliff, Heath, Heathcliff and Bork. <laughs> tongue twisters. As they send one down the other end, Fireburner once again on the goal line. That's twice now. He's had to bail out his teammates. They need to get a little more cohesion on defense. Oh. Bork's going to find another one off the crossbar just misses that finisher we're still sitting in a tight game Bork should have had that one mm -hmm. and now another pass that's gonna be a goal oh. I, I I think I don't know if it's just energy maybe getting warmed up or underestimating their opponents because we're seeing some incredible oh, passing man. plays a fake well, on Jacob true. to the flick to Heathcliff yeah that play was all savvy seal even though Heathcliff gets credit for his second goal mm. savvy seal mind gamed as you said Jacob just right out of his foam champion hat and then that flick right over. Well done by Savvy Seal. I'd say a really good start for Hype Gaming uh, in game number one against NRG. Again, though, we cannot credit out uh, NRG. They definitely have what it takes to pull us back very quickly. As a passing play will connect, Jacob. And send that way wide as the defender is there to stop it. A demo, that's going to be an open net there for Jacob. Clearing the way, he says, you have defense no longer, and I have a goal to tie it up. And not only that, Fireburner bumped Heathcliff right before he got demoed as well. And Jacob, a wide open net after that. But that's that's one uh, very important note about Kings of Urban is that they're one of the most physical teams in the world. They love to bump. They love to demo, especially Fireburner. He's always knocking people out of the net. It can be so frustrating. Jacob as well, he's a leader in that. Garrett, not so much. But uh, NRG as a whole are just annoying on the bump front. Something Hype's definitely going to have to watch out for as they carry on to the rest of the series. They're tied up, but as you said, if they're starting to get physical on the defense there, Hype Gaming might find themselves struggling to save any of these shots coming up from NRG. As they do bend to the other end, a good touch from Savvy over to Heathcliff as they're going to clear that one to midfield. Jake was waiting, but doesn't get any real touch to start some offense. Back down on their end. A read miss there from Garrett. will end up in front of the net of NRG. Fireburner clearing it again. We've seen him just... So strong on defense for his team. Huge credit out to Fireburner, just keeping NRG alive. 
Not at a deficit. Still tied up with a minute 30 left in game number one. Hype is showing us that they're here to play and they're here to win. So they keep this very, very close to NRG. That's a miss there from Borg. Critical miss as Gary is going to punish. You cannot give any mistakes up to NRG or this will be the result. Yeah, and Fireburner was positioning there <laughs> like he was going to go for that bump. So maybe that influenced Borg jumping right there, but... Regardless, Garrett coming in, he's not going to miss an opportunity like that. That was actually his first shot of the game. Before that, Jacob was the only player on NRG with a shot. He had five of them, whereas Hype, they had nine in total. So Hype, they definitely racking up the shots on offense, keeping NRG in their own mm -hmm. half, which is pretty surprising because NRG has statistically one of the best defenses in the world. Well, I mean, Fireburn is proving that there. Four saves on his own with Garrett grabbing another one with, as you said, nine shots coming out. Very strong offense from uh, from Hype Gaming, but it's just stuffed out. And I'm sure Energy is just looking for those small counterattack opportunities. In the air, though, there's no one going to be receiving that one. As Borg fakes it towards it, <laughs> Jacob this time on the goal line. He'll keep it out very close. I like this. I like what we're seeing out of Hype Gaming right now. Will it be enough, though, as they are down a goal. And they might give up possession here as Energy will look to turn this one around down to the orange end. Garrett a touch to Jacob. He'll back out over a fire burner. He'll also back out those Borg did get the touch. Davi Seal trying to support Bork as he gets it past one and two. Ooh. A little bit too much speed as that pinch goes across field. 30 seconds left, still a goal down now as Energy puts on yet another attack. This is where you have to put everything into offense as Hype Gaming. This could be their chance. A pass up to Savvy, a shot oh, on net. Fuck. The boomer from the corner, and they tie her up with 14 seconds left. Talk about cool as a cucumber under pressure. Bork! That was a lovely pass, a one-two shot, 83 miles an hour. Wow. Savvy Seal blasted that into the net. And Hype, a lot of people at the start of this tournament were questioning why they were included, but now they are showing why. Well, absolutely, all tied up with seven seconds left. This might change quickly though as Jacob puts a soft one on. Three seconds left in attack there from NRG. This is looking like overtime if Fireburner can't put that one target. Someone's likely going to want to kill us. I imagine Hype is out of boost. This could be a chance for Garrett to pop out. No, he will kill that one. Overtime in game number one already. Who expected Hype to keep it this close? I'm sure not many people. I saw the predictions. I think at like 93% in favor Jeez. of NRG. Well, they're trying to prove all their doubt is wrong. Right yeah. now, Hype is. And this is, uh, and there we see Fireburner again coming in with that demo. Let's see if it pays off, but um, NRG. I was even in that same camp expecting them to potentially sweep in this best mm -hmm. of five series. And we might not see a sweep. One goal will give Hype the win in game number one. If they can do it here, weak enough shot there that three defenders, at least one of them will save it. It will be Fireburner. The counterattack chance. Jacob, not over Heathcliff. Go back off for boost as Garrett tries to put some pressure off the wall. Jacob trying to be a nuisance on his way back to defense. Ooh, two out of the way. Fireburner. The 1v1 situation. Bork getting physical now. And energy here's a taste of your own medicine. Let's see if they have any of that though. Pass across. We received by nobody. Savvy can play this slow, play it smart. He's got two teammates with him. Garrett doesn't want to give him any time though. Minute into overtime. And we see still a tight game off the crossbar. Scary spot now. Bork weirdly off the crossbar. This might not work out for them as we're deep into overtime. And we've seen NRG a couple times. They had two people too far up, but. In overtime, Hype hasn't been able to capitalize on that. Still this one neck and neck. And now, oh, Garrett G had that opportunity to flick that over. Now Bork's gonna try to take that into the corner himself. Oh, oh one. Fireburner almost pressuring that one through. Though we're seeing quite a long overtime here. I like it. This is such an intense first match. It makes me so excited for the next four days of games. Make sure you guys do not miss it out. We'll have a schedule showing up for you later there, but two minutes into overtime in game number one. Savvy on the goal line. Fireburner's not ready to give up this play yet. Jacob knows how to score off the roof. Savvy still knows how to get up quickly, though. This is starting to look scary for Hype. They're allowing a lot of pressure on from NRG. They need to turn it around. Oh Fireburner my goodness. With the most unfortunate of touches, and a hype is going to take game number one. Whoops. That's all you can say. Look at that. Whoops. It just right off of his car into its own net. 
Maybe he thought he was in a Batmobile, confused by the hitbox of the Octane. Maybe. But that is going to do it for game number one. Hype. They were keeping with NRG, actually getting out to a, an impressive lead right out of, the, out of the start. They were out shooting NRG significantly. And then uh, Hype, again, the, in the final seconds of the game, they were down. They were losing by one. And with 14 seconds left, the play mm -hmm. of the game, in my opinion, was that passing play by Bork over to Savvy Seal. That was incredible. And oh, that yeah. was what kept Hype gaming alive in game number one. And I think this is a situation where Hype was just performing very well. Not so much energy not playing well. Hype was just on, on their game. Yeah, no, it, I mean, if you can get those cherry... Like, they should not have really the chances to get those cherry picking plays like that. There should be someone back watching and knowing that they're there. And I'm, I'm certain that NRG coming into game number two is going to be very aware that they're looking for these plays and they're going to say, no, 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 no more of that. And we might see a different game number two, but hype showed up very strong at the beginning. So many shots. I mean, it was up to fire burner really to keep a lot of those out. Um, bailing the twice. We saw that off the kickoff once and then second time on the goal line uh, and you can't expect Fireburn to do that continuously without getting tired out. The rest of uh, Energy is just going to have to make sure that uh, they're not allowing those kind of chances and weird opportunities for the goal to be open like that in game number two. Yeah, so defensive mistake, that will be what NRG remembers. Mm -hmm. But I've, I've seen NRG lose 6-1 to one and then bounce back and take the series oh, yeah. in three games. So this is uh, a very important game, though, because try, trying to complete the reverse sweep is very very difficult even you know against a team like hype that doesn't have as much experience and that's how you do it getting off to an early lead yeah fireburn is like okay let's start on the front foot this time and take the first goal ourselves we saw the first goal for hype ended up winning them the entire game maybe that'll be nrg's chance just a boomer no one left in net a strong shot from fireburners no way anyone's gonna save that one 20 seconds in we already have a lead for nrg just that turnaround, that warm-up that they needed. We'll see if Jacob can find Fireburner or Ken. Heathcliff was already waiting for that pass, though. Sends it back down the other end. As they create an attack of their own. Should be able to push that one out. Jacob does. Or couldn't get the best touch in front of the net. A weird contestant from Heathcliff. Leaves one alone. Savvy can't get to a board <laughs> just to keep it out. On the goal line, but he's a little mishmashed in net there. Doesn't know what he's doing. That could have been a chance for energy to capitalize. They aren't going to be able to. They still sit at a 1-0 lead, though. No answer yet in the first minute coming out from Hype, and they find themselves on the back heel. A Another demo, demo. As you said, and that is <laughs> going to roll in. Demo critical for energy. Yeah, Fireburner, one of the best in the game at demos. You see him just like a heat-seeking missile <laughs> taking out that final keeper. And Garrett G getting involved with that shot. He knew he just had to put it on net since there was no one guarding it thanks to Fire. See if they can keep that physical play. We did see... Hype Gaming starting to get physical. That might be a chance. Jacob just waiting patiently. Heathcliff was hoping for a touch to be able to take the read off. Take the shot himself, but waited a little bit too long. Now we'll head down the other way. Jacob trying to get a flip little booty touch over to Fireburner. It does make his way over there. A shot came out, but saved by the defense of Hype Gaming as they try to break this one out of their own end. Really, uh, NRG looks like a beehive after a rock was thrown in it. That game number yeah, one. They're really, they're, upset. They're, yeah, they're starting to wake up. Energy's like, let's go, boys. And they have two goals in the lead, not allowing a single shot or answer coming out from Hype. Three minutes left, though, lots of time. Hype could pull this one back, not easily. They need to maintain possession on their counterattacks. He sends that one out. Garrett did give it back, but he lost the touch on that, and Heath, probably out of boost, has to make his way back. Savvy trying to solo play that one through two. That won't happen. It's energy. You're facing off on defense. A touch from Fiber off the post. Bork had just given up on all hope <laughs> of that not being a goal. And just waits there, but it does turn around. No capitalization, but still only a 2-0 lead. Very close off the post there. Yeah, that's one of those situations where you just have to hope they miss. And he did, but Garrett <laughs> again. Garrett G, one of the best players in the world. Definitely the best in NA, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Fireburner, time, he didn't get the can. demo, but uh, he, he at least got in the way. Yeah, it's it, as, as you're saying on Garrett, time and time again, Garrett has just shown that he is so versatile. I mean, like, coming from someone that was so used to playing with a, a teammate like like Turtle on the offense, I mean, forced into a defensive oh. spot. He's doing so well. A boomer there just off the post again. 
post burning in NRG. They could be up two more goals. I mean, three is enough, but more lead, the better. Jacob will have a chance to shoot that one past Bork. He'll misread that one. <laughs> Garrett pre-jumped that far too early. He thought uh, Jake was going to do a cross-field pass there and instead went for the backboard. But still, NRG is just having their way with hype. And you were saying, uh, just talking about Garrett G, he is a savage. Oh, this is going to be a Three goal. posts. I mean, at least that one turned into a pass. Farburner will finish it, but... A lot of post action going on in a 4-0 lead now with two minutes left. What, and you see that pass from that Jacob? Was... He put it right back down to Garrett G. And the hype defense just didn't know what to do. NRG is toying with hype here in game number two. Mm -hmm. This is what we were expecting in game one. But Garrett G, uh, he is one of... Uh, oh, oh, I thought they were going to start right there. But he is one of the most versatile players in the game. He can literally play any position. Defensive-minded, offensive-minded better than almost anyone. He is such a talented player. Well, see if a turnaround could happen. We Hype has to stay in their head and, and maintain their composure and not give up defensive mistakes like that. I mean, I think it was uh, Heathcliff. I can't remember who was out too far. Maybe Savvy. Just need to get back yeah. in that. The miscommunication. Yeah. Heath Heathcliff should have had that clear. And it's just an easy layup for Garrett. That's a hat trick for him. Mm -hmm. Bringing his total to, to four goals in the series now, and I'm sure that count and tally is not going to let up anytime soon unless Hype starts to take control and move this down onto some offense of themselves. And at this, point realizing... in the game, mm -hmm. at this point in the game, in game number one, Hype had nine shots. Right now they're sitting at just two. Mm -hmm. Oh, so much NRG has story. just shut them down. Much different story. And I think that's what they realized. NRG said, okay, we've had way too many shots that shouldn't even have been shots on our net. Let's fix that mistake. And now it's up to Hype to turn around and say, okay, we can't do what we did in game number one. We have to go into likely game number three as five goals with a minute left is a very, very difficult task, especially the way the energy has been playing in game number two uh, to pull back. So game number three will be their focus. Passing plays like this might be what they need. As you said, the communication, the teamwork is what they'll need to get that ball past the defense. The players on NRG in game number three with a 5-0 lead NRG likely to take this one. So they're going to... Probably just try to bring up that tally. Just try to get some more shots in the back of the net. Good chance, though, for Borg. No double tap as it dropped too low. One goal might feel good for Hype. And it's and always good to get that goal going in and getting the momentum into the next game. Absolutely. Even if you don't win. I mean, there's no hope of them coming back to win this game. <clears> but <throat> not at this point. Getting shut out. Five minutes not being able to put a single ball in net. That really does affect you mentally. So if they can just get one here... That will mean the world to them going in game number three. No, you're absolutely right. As you said, with, with 15 seconds left, this is all but over. But I do like to see that they're, they're starting to connect with each other. They're starting to try to create plays. And I think there's just been way too many, uh, I guess, missed touches and, and missed rotations coming up from Hype that allowed way too wow, many open nets again, yet again uh, as they almost connect with another one. NRG will take game number two. As you said, as expected um, in this series. But I'm super excited to see if Hype can pull it back get their heads back into the game. I mean, they started, you said, it was two shots, I think, total, with like almost a minute and a half left, and they started to pull a lot more. Their offense got a little bit stronger. Maybe it was just NRG slowing down a bit and saying, okay, we got this. Um, but NRG does have to watch. Coming to the next game, they're not going to be five goals mm -hmm. up. They're going to be an even score, and if they start any kind of complacency early on, Hype Gaming is probably going to take advantage of that. Yeah, Hype, in game number one, we saw them have multiple opportunities where they had time in NRG's half to make the play. Uh, most notably that uh, mind game and then the flick by Savvy Seal. Um, they actually were able to have some possession. This game, that was not the case whatsoever. whatsoever. NRG held possession pretty much the entire game. Jacob was being annoying on the walls, mm -hmm. getting those passes out. We saw Fireburner again getting involved with his demos, which were a key factor for NRG. And then Garrett G, you know, he's always where he needs to be in this game, getting a hat trick on seven mm -hmm. shots. A lot of that thanks to his teammates working it. But uh, NRG, that, that's the NRG we're used to seeing. We'll see if they come out again here in Game 3. No, you're right. And I'm glad you brought that up with Jacob just kind of being the nuisance. At, at this point, that's all he needs to do. We see a majority of like the, the, the stats coming out between Fireburner and Garrett um, between those last two games. Jacob sitting a little bit quiet, but he definitely has been quiet in the physical game. Game number three, we'll see if Hype can turn this one around as they do need to... Get a win here if they do not want to set them up. Match point, <laughs> Jacob. What an angle in the air. Uh, yeah, we have coined a term 
called Jacob things. Just Jacob Look at things. that. He, oh. he, he air rolls. <laughs> yeah, he air rolls to just lightly touch that with his underside. He knew any more force than that, he might risk putting it wide of the net. And that was just incredible mechanics. I mean, uh, as you said, uh, incredible mechanics. A lot of times, I mean, a lot of people can get up for those redirects now. A little. That was not one of those easy ones. Like you had someone contesting you. You had the hardest angle. You had to get just the right amount of power to put it in the place. An incredible shot from Jacob as they steal the first goal. We'll see, though, if a quick answer can come out. Only 30 seconds passed by so far. We did see the same kind of start in game number two for NRG. They got that early goal. Ended up with a dominating lead in the game overall. Hype needs to get an answer quick here if they want to have a good mentality coming into that final game. Potentially final game, sorry. Pick up, man. Look a at nice little oh. touch. We'll see from Heathcliff, though. Yeah, Heathcliff had to deal with Fireburner coming in hot, trying to distract him. And then Jacob... Uh, <laughs> had almost pretty much the whole net to shoot on. So very good job of Heathcliff remaining calm in that situation and making the play. Fabi trying to use Bork as a bit of a distraction. Tries to send one past the defense. They're not going to have any of that, though. Heathcliff left alone. Got up very quickly. That double jump aerial will allow his teammates to move back down for a counterattack. They got two with them. Up off the wall. A little bit too high from Savvy Seal as that one goes just over the crossbar of the NRG net. Hard and that was the speed up though. That was a really great chance for them that mm -hmm. uh, they're gonna wish they had back. Not gonna have many chances to score like that against no. NRG. Savvy Seal just did not think it was gonna pop out. Oh, this is not a good spot for the defense here. Heathcliff forced just to make a, a quick push to the side. We'll see if they can recuperate their defense. Two people on the wall. Good thing they communicated. Make sure both didn't commit. I should be picked up by an NRG player. There's the touch. Didn't have anyone with him to get a, a shot on net or any kind of play started up. They'll start again from midfield. A little more spread out is Hype Gaming, but maybe a little bit awkward of a spread out wow. as Garrett put ones off the crossbar. I think that's the fourth post now that we've seen. NRG hit five posts now. Savvy Seal will send this one down to the other end. This could be a chance. Who steal and a sneak through Bork. Says, I'm just going to do it all by myself. A misplay from Jacob here. Jacob in the corner. Misread that off the wall. Garrett G was relying on him to make the play. Yeah. And Bork just, he pounced on him. He punished him for, for that misplay. Bork, I've been impressed with him this series. In game one, I thought he played quite well. That play, not giving up on it, that's that's a great uh, great example of hustling in Rocket League. Yeah, and Garrett G had no reason to anticipate the miss there from Jacob. There's no one home. That's a bar down. And a quick regain of the lead. Bork, I think, was off eating some boost. Oh, yeah, and a little bit of an unfortunate play. Savvy Seal actually hit that, and it bounced off Fireburner's head and just pops that up perfectly for Jacob to come in and just launch that on net. So unfortunate for bounce hype. for Hype. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As they find themselves that oh, they were tied up, but now they're going to have to regain that, that goal back. Would have feel, felt great going down in the final couple minutes of gameplay there with a, a tied scoreline. They are sitting at the deficit. Cliff a little bit late to the 50-50 on that one. Garrett will pop it by him. The little plays won't result in a goal. They're just keep the pressure up. Nice second touch, but Savvy Seal reading that one. Keeps it away. He's getting bullied in the corner, though. Fireburner forces that through to the front of the net. No one there to take the shot. And now Heath and Savvy trying to move up. They're both... A little, uh, a little timid, I think, on, on some of their touches there that they're not able to break out of their own end. So they're finding themselves both going for the ball on uh, at that midfield. Levy trying for the 50. 140 left now. Only one goal down. Bork finally with a hard clear. It was on target. Garrett was forced to put that to the corner. Let's see if they can regain possession. Move that back down to Hype's end. They should use this time to recuperate. Going to be an easy save for Jacob. Bork off the backboard. That could be a touch oh. from Heath, but it was a little bit too far to the left. Savvy Seal just keeping pressure. They have to watch out. They don't commit too much. And there are Savvy's teammates moving back as he just keeps the pressure on. Only Garrett and Net. I say only, but then he goes and does this and moves it back down to Hype's end. Yeah, that was a great clear by Garrett, getting it by mm -hmm. Heathcliff. That relieved a lot of pressure on NRG. A pretty sustained attack from Hype, but still fruitless. Bork did have that good backboard pass, but no one was able to get there quick enough. It's a much closer series, though. We saw 5-0 win. On the other side, Fireburner can't get past that last defender. Good play moving up field for NRG, though. But yeah, again, a much closer game now for Hype Gaming. 
They've kept the speed up a little bit. They've kept it at contest with NRG. 30 seconds left now. That They needed that so much pork just wide of the net. They needed that to tie it up in the final 30 seconds, and that's going to be rough. Everything has to go into offense now. We saw him do it with 14 seconds last time. They might be able to do it again. Make sure all the touches are on point. There's the pressure from Bork. A shot on net. Fireburner will be able to save that. He half flips that one to the corner. The pressure still, though, on from Hype. Where was this the entire game? They keep this up. One more turn around. Heathcliff will leave out, and that will be Jacob moving that back down to midfield. And that might be the last play killed off there by NRG. And GG has Hype kept it a lot closer. This is more of what we saw in game number one. And I wonder if they can keep that up coming into potentially a final game as NRG sits at match point. Yeah, starting to come alive near the end there. But uh, Hype, they seem to struggle quite a bit, especially at the end on their boost management. Uh, even at the end, every single player sitting mm -hmm. on zero boost. And there was a couple times I even saw where Heathcliff actually missed the boost, which forced him to retreat back when he, if had he gotten the boost properly and not missed it, he would have been able to turn around and keep the attack on NRG. So Hype, they had some good opportunities, but just mm -hmm. a little bit sloppy. The only goal that they got as well was from a pretty crucial mistake on Jacob's part. Yep. Misreading that off the wall. So their offense was a lot less threatening this game because NRG has just stepped up the speed. The speed seems to be un unmatchable by Hype. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the good thing is that we know that Hype still can punish mistakes. The second NRG will drop the ball, quite literally. Um, Hype is going to be there to punish it. And that's that's just something that NRG does have to watch out for. They say, okay, these guys aren't anyone to be laughed at. We can't just flop around and, and uh, you know goof around. We do have to maintain seriousness. Hype is going to punish us if we make these mistakes. Um, and they still have to watch out in this. But, but you're right. My, I think my, my money, my predictions are, uh, would still be on NRG coming out with this match point right now. As Hype looking to be dropped down into that lower bracket. They can still be alive. It's not over for them. The road to the finals can still happen. It would just be a much longer run down in that lower bracket. There's an early goal from Bork. You've seen him all over the field being, I think, uh, my MVP for that team right now. <laughs> and Heathcliff kind of oh. taking the role of Fireburner, just paving the way. That. Yeah, he demoed Fireburner in net. Or it might have been Garrett. I missed it. And I think I might have seen Garrett spawn there. But that demo was critical to that goal going in. Demon Answer can come out here from NRG, and it does. The passing plays quickly off the kickoff. Almost like two seconds have passed by, and they're already back on the scoreboard. Yeah, Garrett doing a full backflip there. That was a perfect top shelf redirect by Garrett G. And Jacob, he was the playmaker in season three of RLCS, leading everybody in assists. And that setup over to Garrett G, another quality one to add to his record. Man, as hype gaming, I can't, I wouldn't even be mad about that one. Incredible passing play from NRG to tie that one up. We'll see if hype can pull back one of their own. As they rotate back to defense, Fireburner by himself. Garrett trying to squeak one in there. Jacob doesn't want to leave out there. He saw Heathcliff ready for a shot and a pass from Savvy. A bump there. That should be a goal. Garrett forced back to defense. Garrett just panicking, scrambling back. He had no boost to work with after that yeah. team bump from NRG. They love bumping so much, they bump each other. We just need to get Oh, physical. that's in. I don't care who it is. Where's the defense? Heathcliff struggles to get back and can't in time. 404 is right. Defense not found. Uh, so that was a mistake by Savvy, Savvy Seal. He tried to get around that ball and try to and was trying to pass it across field. Jacob was way too close for him to try that and just ends up getting a dunk, and no one from Pipe was expecting that to happen. And NRG get a freebie. Ooh, almost a quick little pop there. Coming up from Bork, he'll get taken off the field. Fireburner pushes it to the side. Here's some pressure, though. Nice little bump from Savvy. Bork might be able to finish this one. Jacob Jake just him. keeps that one out. Incredible save on the goal line from the NRG player, Jacob. He struggled to push this one away. The pressure now on from Hype. It might die out here, though. A chance for NRG to break down to the other end. This is a much different story, though, for Hype. Mm -hmm. They're leading in shots right now. It's five shots for Hype, three for NRG. And Ooh. what a pinch. Right wow. There. Yeah, that might be a turnaround. Honestly, oh, I thought a goal would come out from that. 
Is they, how do you expect that as the height defense for the headshot to come back to your end that quickly? Yeah, that is rough. Heath, Heathcliff could have done more with that ball. Yeah. He That was the worst clear that you could hope for from him. <laughs> but it was such a strange ball, that pinch from Bork. And I, I didn't see who it was from NRG, but that was just a peculiar play. You don't see a lot of plays like that in Rocket League. No, that it was just NRG capitalizing on a uh, confused defense as the pinch flies back down towards it. Hype side. Garrett with a shot. Stopped by Heathcliff. It might not be enough, though, as Jacob tries to keep it in. He's going to flip-flop on the ground. That'll make room for Bork to squeeze through. Davi hoping for a play moved up. Heathcliff wasn't ready to move back, though. They have to be careful of that. The pressure comes out from Garrett off that midfield line in the air. Davi not seen Jacob from the flank. He'll rotate back. He'll be boosted up by a play coming out now from NRG. There's a shot. Heathcliff was right on target, and you see it. Fireburner yet again on his rotation out. Tries to get physical. Jacob might have a chance. Heathcliff to run across now. They're two goals down. NRG looking to walk away with the series as a 3-1. They can keep this up. We did see a good start from Hype, but it has started to turn around now as NRG is taking real possession of the pace. Yeah, they're so good at making the most of their opportunities. They're passing on point, and they... There they it is! Ooh. Work once again, going to grab another one for his team as they bring us to a one-goal deficit now. All three members getting involved. A pinch this time not going in favor of NRG. Yeah, Bork shutting me up right there. Yeah, and then you saw, you said it, Garrett G came in to try to make that play and just hit it off a, a part of the corner that really is not beneficial to hit because it bounces right back out to the offense. So Hype capitalizing on that one. Bork scoring both goals for Hype so far in game number four. And they have to win this one if they want to stay alive in the series. This is the best of five. NRG already at two wins. Mm -hmm. You're right, this is a do or die down in the lower bracket of NRG. Just holds on to this one goal lead, but the way we've seen these players on hype start to, to pace it up, we might be able to see them even this one up. They just have to make sure they're not committing too much to offense, but they're still keeping that pressure on. Savvy with a chance, 50-50 in favor of Garrett. Bork just off the backboard, Heath maybe expecting oh, mm -hmm. Jacob to get that touch, and that will head back down towards their end. Doink up to Savvy. Savvy with the clear on target. Two defenders there. Jacob sends that one flying back down. A nice arc to that. This ball heads into no man's land. Garrett will take possession. He'll fall through. And once again, a possession giveaway from Heathcliff. Bork can't get the read. Savvy needs to create a play on this instead of just sending some ping pongs down the other way. Possession will be critical in this final minute that's approaching. To get one goal, everything has to go into their... This next final place. As I try to even this one up against NRG. What a back pass! Oh my! <laughs> to the net! Fireburner! Oh Fireburner is an own goal machine in this <laughs> series. Look at this play from him. Goes up to try to hit it. Somehow hits that backwards. I don't know. You, he could probably not recreate that shot no. if he tried. You know, isn't that the that story was... though? That the, all the your own goals are probably the best shots you've ever taken. It is not a good day for Fireburn right now. No. <laughs> Two pretty important own goals. No, absolutely important is we do have it tied up with a minute left. That was NRG's ticket to move on into the bracket. Into the next that is, round. That is not top 10 material. I wouldn't say so. If you change the color of the net, maybe. Oh, that should have been a goal. Oh, though Savvy has two people on him. Jacob was looking for Fireburner. Heathcliff did recognize that play. Once again, though, Savvy giving away possession. We'll see if Energy can create something out of it. 30 seconds left now. Bork with a touch across the net. Heath will be up first to Jacob. That will continue its way down into the blue end. A miss there from Fireburner. Throws off both Savvy and Heathcliff. This is a chance for Energy to move back down the other end. Only one defender. Bork will miss that one. And it's on target. And there is the counterattack for Energy to put themselves back into the lead. 15 seconds left. Not what Hype was looking for. And Fireburner, he makes up for that own goal. That was an absolutely sick pass by him. Backflipping, bicycle hitting that ball up into the air for Garrett Chi to attack. An excellent passing play by Fireburner and NRG. And there it is, eight seconds left. They're stuck in their own end, and that's gonna be <laughs> just the finalizer there. Ice shot from Fireburner. Fireburner to the finalizer. He actually got bumped right there and decided to continue to go for that shot. Awareness by Fireburner just going all out, doing that all by himself. 
And despite those two own goals, Firebringer bounces back in these final seconds to really redeem himself. Mm -hmm. And NRG are going to get the win. So well done by NRG. No, well done by NRG. I think just a little bit late show from Savvy. We didn't see much from him. That was actually his first goal in this series. A little too late to the to the game, though. And NRG will pull it back. Very close, though. Hype had me believing. And I think the chat did, too. But Hype had me believing at the end there that we might get to see a game number five. Unfortunately for them, NRG... We'll finish it off with two goals in the last 15 seconds and move themselves on in the bracket. We'll take a look at that once we come back from a break. I don't think it'll be updated yet, but uh, huge shout-outs for them. We have uh, a lot more matches coming up, um, and I'm just yeah, trying to get is, to you uh, the is next just one, day one. Yeah, this is just day one. Today, uh, we don't, we'll be having three matches. This was one of them. But then uh, this runs all the way through Friday. Friday will be the grand final, so a lot of Rocket mm -hmm. League action at this uh, Cyber Power PC Invitational. Yeah, no, this is going to be fun. Our next match coming up is going to be Cloud9 versus Enix. We've seen uh, Torment, Gimmick, and Squishy just got picked up by C9, one of the most prestigious orgs out there, and they're looking to, to make a run. These guys are stone-cold killers when they're up there. Just <laughs> no emotions. They are going to take the win. Enix is going to have a battle. Schwind, I think one of the oldest players, playing with Shaman Astro and Astro. He's a guy I'm looking out for. Astro, I think he used to be a console player, but I've seen him... Uh, playing and matchmaking quite a bit. He's one of those names that mm -hmm. people are looking out for. His, yep. his stock is definitely rising. It's just, you know, waiting to see how he performs in a big tournament like this. Um, this is a great opportunity for them mm -hmm. to to come and compete uh, in a tournament this large with teams this good. Mm -hmm. um, so, and then you've got some names that, you know, I've been familiar with for quite some time. Schwind. Yeah, Schwind. Good guy. Schwind. It's actually his name. I always thought Gushwind. it was SMG Schwind, but it's no, yeah. it's SM Geschwind. That was a common misconception. Contrary to popular. <laughs> 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 but uh, uh, this is another matchup where Enix is going to be going up against a heavy favorite. So we'll see how they handle that. Yeah. But uh, Astro, I, I would agree with you, Leaf. One of, one of the players to watch. But make sure when we come back from break, we are going to break. First of all, I want to give a shout out to the uh, to the sponsors, Amazon, Intel, uh, WD, NVIDIA, and MSI. And of course, uh, let's give a huge shout out to Cyber Power PC for making this happen and Sivo for putting on the production for you guys. So make sure you give them some love in the chat. Make sure you give them some love on social media. And don't uh, don't forget to try to get your uh, touch at, uh, at some of the swag that's been given out. There are predictions. Next match coming up is going to be Cloud9 versus Enix. Get your predictions in. They'll be closing as soon as we come back from break. You're not going to want to miss it. James Bott and I, Leaf Facts, will be back in just a few.